Hey guys, welcome back to more AFK Arena. In today's video, we have an early image, uh, thanks to the guys at AFK Inside for this one, of the Awakened Sophia. We also have some early translations of skills, which are looking quite nice as well to go through. So first of all, let's kick it off with the appearance. I think she looks amazing. For anyone that knows Skylanders, she kind of gives me like the Golden Queen vibe because of the, the gold on the head, like all the gold in it, but also the red eyes. I think she had red eyes. I can't remember. I think that's the vibe I'm getting. But in general, we got the wings. We got her summoning some sort of wolf, fox, dragon. I don't know what this is, but it's cool. And that's going to be tied into her skills. I'm hoping we get to see this thing look really savage in animations. We don't want another Ulna where you've got a really cool 2D art with wolves and then they never even join in the battle. I can't believe that is still a thing. It's an outrage. But anyway, I digress. This is the animated avatar, which I think looks pretty cool. Uh... I can't wait to see her in-game sprite. I just, I, the, the way they do in-game sprites in this game is crazy. I just think they always look absolutely amazing. And this one is going to be no exception in my mind. So let's get zoom it back out uh, and let's jump into the skills. So this one, Cosmic uh, cosmic End. Sophia releases a Star Destroyer from the Void Realm. And if you look at this thing, it looks like this thing. So I'm assuming that's what's going to happen. And I can't wait to see this animation. Dude, that focuses its energy in the air for X seconds. Now, I don't know whether this is going to be like normal Sophia's ultimate where she charges or whether she'll still just like summon it and then she'll have free reign to keep doing stuff. Not too sure. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, then it damages all enemies for X percent of her attack rating. Each time a control effect occurs while focusing, I'm assuming that's on either side of the field, but we'll see that most allies on her side of the field won't be getting controlled because they get immunity. So, yeah. Control effects. Anyway, Star Destroyer stuns its target for X seconds. So I'm assuming that while it's charging, if you land CC on enemies, then when it actually releases its attack, it's going to stun the enemies with that attack. That's the way I'm understanding it, but I, I could be a little bit misinterpreting this, so we'll have to wait and see. Um, but while focusing and when Star Destroyer hits uh, its target... Oh, wait, let me go back a bit. Each time a control effect occurs while focusing, Star Destroyer stuns its target for X seconds and deals damage to them for up to X seconds. So I'm not sure exactly... Like I said, I think it's just once it releases, it'll have a stun tied to it. While focusing and when Star Destroyer hits its target, attribute debuffs inflicted by enemy heroes on Sophia are amplified by X percent, which sounds like a bad thing, and then evenly inflicted on, on enemy heroes for X seconds. So it's like amplifying the negative effects on her, but then putting them on the enemies. Only one Star Destroyer will appear at a time. When entering battle, Sophia gives a mask to allied heroes. The mask mobilizes allied heroes and prevents them from receiving energy from anyone other than Sophia. But as we go on, you'll see that she should be providing a decent bit of energy. Okay. At level two, at the start of battle after or and after the ultimate skill has ended, the allied hero with the highest attack rating will be recognized by Sophia so that they can directly receive an ember mask. This is like an enhanced mask to the base one they get at the start or turn their mask into an ember mask. This effect increases the damage dealt by the recognized allied hero by X percent and cannot be stacked and prioritizes an allied hero without an ember mask. So after each ult, it's going to apply to another ally. I think this is going to be huge for bossing, obviously, uh, and longer fights. While possessing an ember mask and causing health loss with burning ambition that we'll look at in a sec, the, the hero steals an extra X energy points from enemies and contributes them to Sophia. This effect can trigger once every X second. So they get this mask, they deal extra damage, and they're stealing energy from enemies and giving it to Sophia. And now this is how Sophia generates energy for allies. Sophia no longer spends energy to use her ultimate skill, but instead distributes energy evenly among allied heroes and increases health loss caused by burning ambition, which we'll look at in a sec, by X for the next X seconds. But essentially her ultimate, instead of her losing the energy, it gets distributed amongst allies, which is pretty good. When we look at a thousand energy between four allies, that's what, where's my math? 250 energy? Like it's like a quarter of an energy bar each time she uses her ult, and then she's going to be cycling pretty quick. Uh, unless I unless I messed that up, I, it probably did. I, it's it's like give me a break, guys. But um, you get you, you get the gist of how it's working. 
All right. Ember Erosion. Sophia, Sophia deals damage to all enemies facing her for X percent of her attack rating. Each time she wields the skill Ember Erosion, she suffers erosion. While the duration of most buffs she receives uh, thereafter is reduced by X percent up to X percent. For every enemy, uh, every hero hit by Ember Erosion, she receives X dissolve points permanently up to x points but th this one this one's kind of confused me each time she wields the skill and erosion she suffers erosion while the duration i'm not sure what the erosion she sh suffers is whether it's saying that erosion is something that means the most uh, buff she receives wh whether that's that's the effect of erosion or whether erosion is another debuff uh which affects her stats which would make sense when we look at this because then she can transfer it to her enemies so i'm not too sure exactly how that works uh we'll wait and see the skills in the actual game but anyway, enemies hit by the skill Ember Erosion also suffer a certain degree of erosion for X seconds. During this time, the duration of most buffs on the enemies is reduced by X percent. This effect cannot be stacked. Uh, this is signature on 10. Enemies suffer erosion for X seconds. While enemies suffer erosion, the duration of most of their buffs is reduced by X percent. For every hero hit by the skill Ember Erosion, Sophia's attack rating is permanently increased by X percent up to X percent and health loss triggered by all masks is permanently increased by a further X percent up to X percent. So you want to get those masks on the allies, get that health loss, but uh, essentially, yeah, she's getting attack as well. So well, th that's going to all depend on numbers and how that actually works with the erosion and stuff like that. Moving on to the next skill, let's move my head across again. Uh, okay, Extreme Domain. So this is kind of like similar to Classic Sophia. Sophia conjures an obelisk domain on the allied half of the battlefield in which all allied heroes gain X tenacity points. While the skill is being used, all allied heroes are immune to control effects. Within the domain, allied heroes that possess Ember Masks, which she applies one to an ally, uh, one at the start of the battle and then one after every ultimate, uh, Ember masks are immune to control effects when their energy percentage is higher than X percent. Uh, okay, furniture. Increases allies attack rating in the domain by X percent. Sophia is immune to control effects when her energy percentage is above uh, a certain percent. Then at level 9, if an enemy hero dies in an obelisk domain, Sophia recovers their attack rating, defense rating, and remaining energy. I don't know that's a full attack rating. If it is, that is nuts. Um, and distributes them evenly uh, to allied heroes. I mean, if it's their full attack rating, like this is going to be huge for high deficit. You just kill one enemy inside that thing and you're getting a ton of stats. I don't know. I have to wait and see. Uh, and distributes evenly among allied heroes. The maximum recovered amount cannot exceed X percent of her corresponding uh, initial attributes. Okay. I, I, I should have read that part first. My bad. Moving on. All right, let's move my head again because it's always in the way. All right. Whoop. There it is. Whoop. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Okay. Guardian's Gift. Every X seconds allied... Ally, every X seconds, allies in the obelisk domain receive a shield equal to X percent of the max health of the enemy with the highest max health for X seconds. The shield's value cannot exceed X percent of Sophia's attack rating. This is really going to depend on, on percentages. Like that's like That could be really good or it could be absolutely trash. We, we just got to wait and see percentages. Uh, okay, E30. If a, shield is, if a shield granted by the skill Guardian's Gift is broken, the value of the shield received thereafter is increased by the first further X percent up to X percent. Now I'm assuming this further X percent it increases also increases the uh, the max limit of it based on Sophia's attack. If not, that would be just stupid. So I'll have to wait and see. And then E60 heroes with Ember Mask can receive all effects within the domain, uh, even when they are outside the domain. So once they've got a mask, you can play her with lunges and you don't have to sit on your side of the field. For allied heroes uh, with shields granted by Guardian's Gift skill, the health loss caused by Burning Ambition is further increased by X%. percent. So now let's jump into her Awakening skill. And honestly, her Awakening skill feels like a bit of a must-have um, if you want to use her. So I feel like if you've got more Awakened heroes on your team, you still really want to go for this one. 
Okay, let's get into it. Let's see if I can complete this this reading without completely failing. When an ally uses an active skill other than their ultimate, they trigger a mask or ember mask that uh, that attacks the enemy hero with the highest attack rating, causing them to lose health equal to the sum of X percent attack and X percent attack. Uh, of the attack ratings of the corresponding allied hero and Sophia. So these masks, they're like throwing masks at them essentially is, I, I guess that's what, it sounds different to the way we've been reading the mask previously, but it sounds like a one use mask that they throw at them almost, but essentially they're dealing extra damage uh, with a combination of the allies attack and also with Sophia's attack. And that's every time they use a skill other than their ultimate. So this is going to come down to testing units that have like high skill cycling with low cooldowns. This is going to be, uh, I'll let the big brains do that stuff. When the enemy hero is hit, Sophia recovers X additional energy points. This effect can trigger only once every X seconds. Sophia's excess energy is distributed evenly among allied heroes. So uh, the way that I'm reading this is it sounds like her ultimate, the way they say there can only be one Star Destroyer on the field, it sounds like she's going to be, be getting a lot of energy and then she will be over capping energy because you can only have one of these on the field at a time. Um, this is just a complete guess. And then because of that, this, when she's over capping energy, it's just going to get distributed to her allies, which is a great effect. So I think that's pretty much the way she's going to work. But in general, uh, we have a massive nuke. We have uh, some interactions with buffs and debuffs. We have some immunity, some tenacity, and we got this field. And when our enemies die, we get stats and energy. Uh, and then we've got the shielding effect as well. And all those masks to increase damage and amplify it. So I think it's going to be solid. It's going to come down to numbers, which we'll go through once she does drop in the game. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all we've got so far. But once again, looking absolutely sick. I think this is a wicked design. As always, they do a great job. But as always, guys, that is going to be it for this one. Thanks for watching. Hope you have an awesome day. I look forward to seeing the next one. Cheers.